the city of New Shanwei. A city I swore I'd never visit again. The post-industrious nightmare ran with a smooth efficiency. Scratch the surface and you may find more than you bargained for. But a friend is a friend, and those are in short supply these days. I was back on the streets of New Shanway. A friend had called and insisted on a meeting. Unusual, it must be serious. Living in New Shanway, though, I'm not surprised. Any one of these degenerates could be harboring a deep and dark secret. Trust me, I know. The people here are strange. I'm always looking over their shoulders. The apartment block was damp. Bad insulation and the constant rain had left the lobby in a state of disrepair. I found the right door. No answer. Better bang loudly at 2 a.m. Still no answer. I'd think these people had jobs or something. Anyway, if years of government training and bad action movies have taught me anything, so that I can break in through this conveniently human-sized vent. Dropping down into the dark apartment, it took me a minute for my old man eyes to adjust. Almost long enough that I didn't see it right away. The TV was blaring out old gangster films. Then I saw it. It was my friend, lifeless, stood against the counter. The blood had pooled around a single pistol cartridge. Such a senseless waste of life. There must be some other evidence around here. Cracking the safe, I find an unknown fingerprint. This isn't Camille's. She lived here alone. I better get out of here. There's voices in the hall. Crawling back through the vents, I was lucky to escape the lockdown. There must have been some kind of silent alarm. But we have a lead. City Hall place where a thousand murder cases go to die themselves. I can't tell you the amount of times I've stood in front of the mayor while he's trying to crawl up my ass. Thankfully I still had some connections in the ballistics department. They were able to tell me that the 8mm cartridge had come from ash, nails and screws. I looked up the address in the city directory. It was in the wrong part of town, full of junkies and addicts. But there was no other choice. I had to investigate. The door was open, which was good as a warm welcome to me. The customer ledger was behind the desk, but I knocked over a chair making a huge racket. The locals swarmed the shop, 
so I hid in the shadows. Luckily, these junkies were almost blind. I took the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Only one person has bought anything remotely interesting. E. Andre. The name sounded familiar. This was definitely the guy. All I had to do was find him. Approaching the apartment, I could feel the rage overcoming me. I knocked at the door. No answer. It's only breaking and entering if someone catches you. Exact match. The guy had left his password just lying around. Rookie mistake. His emails listed a series of murders for hire from an unknown sender. I quickly printed the evidence. Suddenly the alarm went off and I panicked. In the darkness, I tried to escape. The suspect ran out of the apartment after me, then seemingly locked himself out. He glared at me and ran away. I told you people in this town were strange. Since the guy was out, be rude not to have another look around. He had returned. It was time for me to leave. Sat in the safety of the diner, my thoughts went to revenge. Getting a gun should be easy enough but I had left that life behind. What had gotten Camille so spooked that she had to contact me a million miles away? I didn't have many friends in this world, but the ones I did, I held close. I felt like it was my duty to avenge her death. But the guy in the apartment, he was just the hitman. I needed to find out who was really behind all of this. I decided to hand the evidence into the authorities. Almost instantly, I get a letter informing me they've solved the case and arrested the suspect. I get some cash and a good pat on the back. They even upgraded my social credit score. 
great. One step closer to the fields. But I still had questions. Who killed Camille? Who ordered the hit? This city had dragged me back in, but I'll bring this whole show down to get to the truth.